bit like a dark Mary Poppins. What was it? How would you describe the film? You, you can't avoid, and nobody's trying to avoid the Mary Poppins comparison. I think it's, it's definitely there. And uh, I think that um, it's Mary Poppins, rather than trying to we copy the film, I think we just use that archetype in a way and introduce it to a new generation. Um, having said that, it's, it's terribly different. I mean, nobody bursts into song. It is darker, and um, I think it has a very different sort of magic about it. It has got a massive mix of magic and sadness and naughtiness and mm. mayhem. What was it like to act in a film like that for you? Well, uh, it was a lot of fun. I mean, I was the only... Uh, on many of the days I was filming, I was the only adult male for miles around, which tended to make me the object of most of the humour. Um, so, you know, it, it was a lot of these sort of a lot of women I'd worked with before who'd had it in for me for many years and they now had a, every opportunity to uh, give me a run for my money. But I enjoyed it enormously. I don't think any of us had ever enjoyed a film quite as much as this. Children, animals, all the things they say. Yeah, we broke every rule. We broke every rule in the book. And uh, no, here she Excuse comes. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> We're, we're such exhibitionists. <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, 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 oh. I've got a beard. I've got a beard. That's right. It makes, me, like. makes me folky Actually, and approachable. I'm fantastic. Thank you. Now you've got a spot. Thank you. Don't embarrass me anymore. Go on, run away with you. I'm talking about you. Sorry.